G'day to folks, this is Admiral Raven speaking, hope you're all doing well and I'm keeping you up to date about and regarding to the CC application for Asia server or Southeast Asia server. We call it the C server and honestly I'm confused what the F is going on with it at the moment because the most recent announcement that came to me not too long ago has me scratching my head and I am dumbfounded about the responses I'm getting. There's too much mucking around going on here and I'm getting fed up with he said, she said, anything said kind of thing because they're going around in circles and I honestly cannot understand, you know, like the mindset that they're going with it at the moment at this point in time. So Wargaming, um, the APEC Wargaming team on Asia server has been very good, very friendly, good to know and get along with. I'm starting to get interested in getting to know them better and honestly on the Southeast Asia server, Asia community, I'm starting to get to know them better to the point that I'm really, really impressed with what they're doing. And honestly, I, I'm, I think that the the problem is is a bit of a language barrier going on and the miscommunication and everything going on behind the scenes again so what i'm saying is that most recently despite of meeting the community managers getting to know them having an understanding about them and everything like that i am at a loss for words so i'm getting a bit annoyed with this because I'll tell you what happened. When I first started streaming World of Warships back in 2020, I was on the Asia server. Then, uh, because there was no one really focused on the English speaking community back there, and I didn't know who to talk to, I was actually highly recommended to do a North American server. So that's where my journey began. Anyhow, but the long story short, um, over a period of time, we ended up getting an Australian community contributor uh, that was brand new, and there was one that had been around since 2015, but nobody knew about. And honestly, there was too much mucking around going on. Okay, so honestly, that is where you know, like, I'm getting fed up with being tossed and turned around so many times, and honestly, I'm getting fed up with it. I really am. I'm freaking fed up with it because. When I'm told one thing, then I'm contradicted with something else. And honestly, there's no clear understanding or respect going on somewhere. And I have no freaking idea why. So it's frustrating when you're trying to do something for the community. It, it's annoying. It's antagonizing. So as a content creator for World of Warships, I have enjoyed it very much. I have streamed the game for quite a while and I love what I do for the community. However, it's getting frustrated to the point now that when I try to apply for the CC program, I'm getting some mixed responses. But here's the honest response I was given most recently up to date in January of this year in 2022. So, the good news thing about this response was that they've been honest with what's going on at the moment. And they kept me up to date and they say, aside from the formalities of wish me a happy new year, and it's nice. Um, basically, uh, they start off saying, hey, happy new year to you too. Seems like there will be an internal change soon. And probably the English speaking CCs, the community contributors, will be managed by the North American team very soon. Um, okay, so before I elaborate what the hell happened there, I'll tell you what happened in back in 2021. So back in 2021, as you know, the community managers like Harper Fardock, Manny Marcel, and Kavoff were around for a while. Now, Manny Marcel was the only one that really was managing a CC program for 
North American community. But because that there was a language barrier on Asia, so for some unknown reason, they decided that, hey, we want to focus on, you know, uh, making things better over there, so we're going to get a representation there. So they had a North American community manager working on Asia server, and at the same time, that there was some sort of uh, issues going on. And the biggest issue that I was finding was the miscommunication between wargaming internally. Now, it, it's typical business practice for something to go wrong. And honestly, I'm sitting there baffled. I'm completely baffled about this because I'm trying to figure out what the hell is happening, you know, with everything going on. And I'm being told mixed messages. So what I'm hearing and seeing right now are two different things. So in a nutshell, the it doesn't make any sense what's going on right now. If that makes sense, any sense to you. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Because I'm sitting there going like, come on, I'm trying to apply... And now I'm getting mixed messages because these Mason legends around me have been appointed on the CC program not too long ago. Not, a, not only that, to make the matters worse is that I have been pushed back intentionally like all the time. Why is that? I don't know. I mean, like, Wargaming needs to be honest with me for a change. Because I'm getting fed up with this. I'm, I'm really fed up with this. About, there are people out there who are just as good in terms of producing the content. Um, not only that, they've been purely doing the hard work in their own time. Volunteering their own resources and experiences and sharing the love and passion about the game they love streaming or having fun with their friends. Honestly, these people that I have around me, Major Rage, for example, has been in a CC program since 2015, since the beginning of World of Warships, and not many people knew about him. Then you had Dolby Maid and then Logistic Lava and Kimicha who were thrown in the whack afterwards. And honestly, that's okay. I mean, like, they've done a great job, you know, for what they're doing. That's all well and good. Kudos to them, you know, great job for them. But the thing is that if there are other people, content creators, like, for example, like Wolf Kane and myself, Admiral Revan here, or other people who do stream on Asia who are English speaking people are not getting the respect or appreciation that they deserve then it leaves me and other people at an impasse wondering why is it so complicated to just apply for the program and have someone willing to communicate with us and set things straight because we've been told so many things on so many times and there's been we've been either tossed and turned so many times and we I feel like we've been tossed around like rag dolls. And honestly, for, when I got this message saying seems like we will be internal changes soon and probably the English speaking CCs will be managed by the North American community team. Could you please let us have time until things settle down a bit on our side? Thank you. All well and good to uh, give them all the time they want. But, you know, like, February is a, a month supposed to be for my birthday and my celebration for streaming two years on Twitch for World of Warships. Two very good milestones. And honestly, I have never been effed around for so long. Because at one point, I was on the North American community streaming on that a lot. Because I had no job and stuff. But now that I'm working, 
and pretty much there was some internet issues going on for the North American community I got to the point that I'm happy playing on the Asia server but I always had been playing on Asia server on different days I just been finding that uh, nowadays uh, with the information that's on there well what I've been given by Wargaming and everything that's going on uh, this is you know like it's a bit of a roundabout way saying they don't want me if that's true for Christ's sake, you know, just tell me that and I'll stop streaming World of Warships. But, you know what? I'm not going to let that bother me. I have an awesome community around me. I have good friends around me. I have fun enjoying my time with you all. Why should I quit streaming World of Warships or producing content creation for World of Warships if I'm not going to get the bloody freaking res respect from those people. Honestly, this is effing ridiculous because there are people out there are just as deserving and to get in a CC program deserve every dollar of it. I've been doing this day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. Well, it's only two years, but the thing is that it's still continuing. And if this is the way I'm getting treated, this is ridiculous. You know, I have already approached the NA community manager that I know very well, to an extent. And I have told him this. Hey mate, happy new year, I hope all is well. Mate, I'm having a bit of confusion on w what is going on here with the CC application for Asia. And it looks like from what I've heard so far that there's an internal change going on and I'm at loss for words. Because from the sounds of it, the APAC Wargaming Regional Manager reached out to me saying that there's a possibility that the NA community team is going to be managing the CC applications and the CC team for Asia and C server community. I mean, I know you helped me earlier and all, which is I'm very, very grateful for. And the people there really liked what I was doing. And now I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, my heart and mind is in the right place. But I feel like I've been tossed and turned around a bit. So I don't know what to do. Except I'm happy enjoying and getting the numbers and content up there. Promoting the community and loving it so far. I got in touch with the community managers on Asia. In the past. Both are very nice and very helpful. But yeah, this news came back to me as a bit of a shock. I got my application ready and updated for the C Asia server but with this going on it doesn't make sense because I'm looking forward to celebrating my two years of streaming World of Warships in February 22 in 2022 and my birthday as well which started on 2nd of February however if you can help a brother out I'll be more than happy to send a copy of my Asia application uh, to you directly or feel free to let me know where I should send it to. Hope to hear from you soon. Now, that was sent today. But I have to admit, I haven't heard any update uh, uh, since then. But, you know, like, honestly, due to time zones and everything going on, i, I got to give it, you know, give it uh, some thought and give it a chance, you know, like, um, for these people to get back to me. And, honestly, man, I had never never been treated like this in ages I've been tossed and turned and it's ridiculous I mean like will Wargaming freaking make up their minds that's what I want to hear but uh, I don't know so in regarding to the CC application for Asia last time I've heard that I was very close to getting in but at the same time, it's not confirmed yet now. And with everything up in the air, the person I was talking to named Vaxo, Vaxo is a very good guy. 
like him. I like him a lot. But he's focused on the Japanese community manager team. And he is one of those people that I feel something's not right. That uh, if they are focused on one particular language and they got different people, you know, in different regions and there's no one supporting the Asia community and leaving us out in the lurch, then there's something bloody wrong with the whole process. Honestly, I am lost for words, but I'm going to continue streaming World of Warships and have fun. Effort. I mean, like, you know, if this is, you know, like, um... Wargaming, you know, giving him in the merry-go-round way, let them come to me. Honestly, I would have loved to be a community contributor by February this year, but I don't think it's going to bloody happen. And I'm actually, in fact, pretty sad. All that time I've been streaming for World of Warships, not getting the respect I deserve or anything like that, and everything like that, being tossed around so much, there are not just not just me has been tossed around but there are people that i know that have been tossed around too and they deserve to be a cc for water warships on the asia community this is totally effed up man but anyhow no matter the reason i will still continue producing the content in the meantime and keep pushing for it But, yeah, I don't know what to do anymore. But anyway, I'll get better soon. I should be back soon, anyways. But uh, stay safe and take care. Have a good one, guys.